Nora from TastyPC.tv and today I'm doing a review of the Be Quiet Zarkrock Pro 2. So this is Be Quiet's flagship CPU cooler and it really is massive. And I've been using one for a while now on one of my personal rigs and I also gave one away as part of the Tasty PC advent calendar. So I thought it'd be a good idea for me to do a video on one. So let's get started. Taking a really quick look at the box, this is Be Quiet's highest end CPU cooler and it's got a cooling capacity of up to 220 watt TDP and it's been designed for overclock systems whilst maintaining a great performance to noise ratio. Looking at the back of the box, we've got a list of the specs and I'll just overlay a picture so you can see better and now's a good time to pause if you want to get a chance to read them. In the box you get an instruction guide, the mounting brackets and the back plate and this CPU cooler can support pretty much any socket you want it to be able to. Um, now this cooler doesn't come with the fan paste already pre-applied, it does just come with a small tube which does make it a lot easier if you had already planned on using your preferred fan paste instead. Looking at the cooler itself, I have to say I think this is the sexiest large air CPU cooler. I don't think the other large air coolers, like the Thermal Take Silver Arrow and the Noctua NHD14 come anywhere close. I really do love this cooler's stealthy look. Um, so the two attached fans are Be Quiet Silent Wings fans and they are really good fans. The outside fan is 120mm and the inside fan is 135mm. Um, and when you get this cooler both of the fans are already attached. And they both have braided PWM cables. Um, so the fins on this cooler are black nickel plated. And if we have a look at the top of it you can see that it has a brushed aluminium finish which is really nice. Um, and you also get seven six millimeter thick heat pipes which have got black caps um, which adds to the overall stealthy look. And then looking at the bottom of the cooler, um, the block is copper. Because of how big the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 2 is, you do have to account for its size before considering purchasing this cooler. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have fitted the wrong way round. So the tallest memory you can fit is around the size of the G-Skill Rip Jaws and the Corsair Vengeance Low Profile Memory as the fan actually comes down lower than the heat sink. Um, but if you do want to be able to fit to a memory, you're not going to be able to unless you fit the cooler in weird and wonderful ways. Now this cooler is actually very tall, it's 166mm tall, and I have previously fit it in my Fraptile Assign R3 case, and it did actually literally touch the side panel. Um, now one thing I did notice with this cooler is if you fit it so that it exhausts out of the case, the Be Quiet logo is actually on its side, which is something that irritates me a little bit. Fitting the cooler on an LGA 1155 motherboard is easy enough. All you do is put in four screws through the back plate and then the motherboard into the cooler's mounting plate. However, fitting this cooler on an LGA 2011 motherboard is a complete nightmare. You've got these four bolts that you have to tighten with a spanner on this side of the motherboard, which in theory is very simple, but the fact that with this cooler you do have to fit the memory before you can fit it, and the fact that in some corners you do have heat sinks to contend with, it does become very difficult to do, and I did find it literally impossible to fit in one of my rigs. So if you are planning on getting this cooler for Sandy Bridge E motherboard, I would take that into consideration. Moving on to the performance test, I am very impressed with this cooler. Um, I'm not going to be doing a sound comparison in this video, but I can tell you that the Be Quiet Dark Prop Pro 2 is very quiet. You can hear it at full speed, but it's not like many other coolers which tie into leaf blowers to help give impressive results. So I ran the Be Quiet Dark Prop Pro 2 at full speed and then at half speed at 4.6 GHz at 1.35 volts. I then ran it at full and half speed again, but also passively at stock clock. Um, and I did all these tests on my i5 3570K, after Prime95 had been running for an hour, I took the four core temps, found the average temp from that, minus the ambient room temperature to find the final delta CPU temp. Um, so then looking at the graph of the results that I got, you can see that even when the cooler is running at half speed, you still get great temps while overclocking. Um, but what did really surprise me with this cooler is its passive cooling capability. Um, its temp came very close to beating the Intel stock cooler when it was running at full speed. Um, but looking at the second graph, you can see that the H100i does beat the Dark Rock Pro 2, which doesn't surprise me at all. Um, but the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 2 is quieter and cheaper, although the H100i is easier to fit. Um, I am planning on adding more coolers to this graph over time so that I can bring you better comparisons. 
Moving on to the conclusion, I really love the Be Quiet Dark Crop Pro 2. I do think it's the sexiest large air CPU cooler on the market and it is incredibly quiet. And the fact that it can quite happily passively cool a CPU at stock means that if you wanted to, you could lower the RPM of the fans and still get good temps even when overclocking. And I do really like these fans, they do move a decent amount of airflow while still being really quiet, so I do think you'd be silly to consider replacing them. Um, but I do think this cooler has one negative point and that is the fitting process. I do find it literally impossible to fit in one of my rigs and you do need to be careful if you are considering buying this cooler for an LGA 2011 board. However with an LGA 1155 motherboard it's still a little bit fiddly but you shouldn't really have any problems there. Um, so giving the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 2 an award it is going to get the silver award or 4 out of 5 stars depending on which award system you use because as you may or may not know I'm currently having my award system redone. Um, but that was my review of the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 2. If you liked the video hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.